Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a screenshot command since it was requested by one of our subscribers in the Discord server. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. Pocket Hosts have different features that might be helping for you. You can buy your own domain from Pocket Hosts or you can simply transfer your domain to them and they will extend your domain by one year. They also have a very extremely cheap web hosting starting from $0 a month by the meaning of free. That's not limited as a Node.js hosting, there is also Node.js hosting which is also free and cheap. Make sure to check them out, I'll be leaving their links in the description. So now let's get back into our video. Alright, now after that you've seen a little uh, ad about pocket host, let's now start coding our command. So I'm gonna be using my uh, API over here, Ultrax API. Alright, uh, yeah, you're gonna need to sign up into my website. If you don't have a, uh, if you don't have an account, of course. But if you have one, just log in. All right. So uh, yeah, let's go to the documentations. Let's take a look here. So we're gonna use our base URL, this one. All right. Uh, we got here a couple of examples: Node.js, PHP, Python, and here the rest of the thing, like the endpoint itself. Okay. So. Uh, we want basically a screenshot all right so what it's gonna be it's gonna look like it's gonna look like this uh, HTTPS uh, API ultra xyt.com slash v1 slash screenshot okay so it's simply search through Google uh, the website URL you've provided and take a screenshot of the land page it got only one parameter which is URL all right and uh, it's basically the website URL to screenshot and of course the other one which is the key right we don't put the api key into the headers we just put it into the url but probably in v2 it's gonna be into the headers anyways now that you've signed up into the website or logged in you're gonna see something like this of course without the admin part so uh you're gonna see something called ip uh, api configuration you're gonna just click on it it's gonna look like that you're gonna just click on get key Right now that you've got your key, it's basically hidden over here. That's your key. He got the free plan. It, it basically has seven uh, seven hundred and fifty uh, uh, like requests daily. Uh, if you want more quota per day, you gotta just upgrade it. Let me just like buy the plus plan here real quick. I got my zealous here. Just pay with zealous. And here, thank you for purchasing the item. All right. Now, account home here back. Let's go to uh, API. As you can see, I got the plus plan. I got the baby quota, left quota, spies. All right. Now this key. Don't worry, I'm gonna change it after the video, so you'll not be able to use it. You gotta get your own key. So I suggest making it as a normal command and not a slash command because basically getting a screenshot of a website and sending it like as a base64 image and this stuff will take quite a while from 5 to 7 seconds so the slash command is only uh, like valid for 3 seconds so that will not work so we're gonna use a normal command today okay so let's create a new file name it screenshot.js Alright, and top. Here we're gonna name it screenshot. Alright, we don't need this line. So yeah, we're gonna need a package, alright, to fetch the API, which is called Axis, I guess, like that. And to install it, you're gonna just do npmi Axis. This npmi, this word. I don't know how to pronounce it, alright, so don't judge me, I just say Axis. So uh, we can put this as, as, as the aliases. If you've got something like that here, you're gonna just do npm 
audit fix dash dash false all right here so until it finishes let me just clear this all right it's done already so let's first get the url so let url equal files one and then uh let or if there is no args one which is basically no url we're gonna return message channel the send content please provide a url all right or we can actually reply and not like that all right that's better so uh yeah now let's get into the serious stuff so uh now that we've got that we want to send a message all right because the person will wait five or seven seconds will think that the bot crashed or something so we want to send a message saying loading until we send that screenshot so what i'm gonna do is do message the channel the send loading all right or we can actually make it a reply as well and you can put some emoji if you want to uh as well i prefer putting it as content all right and now i'm gonna do then and i want to make it asynchronous and put message and then our function what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna now uh fetch my api so let ras equal await fetch and i'm gonna put the link here so https slash slash api.altraxyt.com slash v1 slash screenshot all right and now i'm gonna just put this put the url here so let me change the equation so this will be the url all right and i'm gonna put the, uh, the end uh icon this one put the key the api key will be here okay key equal i'm gonna get my key paste it here that's it all right so now const buffer because now we i will get what i'm gonna get from this is a base 64 all right if you don't know what's a base 64 let me tell you what is a base 64 image all right it's an encoding algorithm that converts any characters, binary data, and even images or sound into readable string. Basically. Alright. So we need to buffer it. So I'm gonna do the uh, const buffer equal new buffer dot from alright. And I'm gonna put here rest.data dot screenshot. All right, so uh, this is the rest, and the rest will have the data all right in it, and the data will have the screenshot from the API itself. Okay, so yeah. Now, uh, the API, the base64 uh, basically starts with something like this. Let me get it to you. How does the base64 look like all right here let me let me just get in here two images uh, let's take this image yes yeah. it usually starts with something like base 64 like two points slash then png or jpg or whatever it is okay so we don't need that part Okay, this part we need to remove it. So I'm gonna remove it using dot split. Uh, and then I'm gonna do like this and one. All right. Now let's name base sixty four. All right, because we're doing a base sixty four. Now we need to image it, the image itself. So const image equal new discord dot attachment or message attachment 
there. And we're going to need to put the buffer here and the name of the attachment. Let's name it screenshot.png. Perfect. Let's create a quick embed. Const embed equal new message discord dot message embed. All right, let's put the title as the URL. So URL, let's put the URL of the title basically as the URL as well. And lastly, put the image as the screenshot. So basically, it's, it has its own way to do it, which is uh, it's kind of attachment. All right, I guess I wrote that wrong, didn't I? Yup, here, attachment, and then the name. Okay, the name here is screenshot.png. All right, there we go. So what I'm going to do is message dot channel send uh oops this and then embeds. I'm gonna send our embed here, okay? And I'm gonna add files. I'm gonna add the attachment here. Here like that. Perfect. Alright. Here, so that I added the files, I added the attachment here, all right, so I can use it into the image, okay? So it's not sending the embed and the image separately, it's just putting the the image into, uh, the, the attachment to the image, all right? And I just want to delete the loading message, so I'm going to do message.delete. And I can also wait, because why not? And lastly, if someone put, like, a weird URL that didn't even get screenshot or there like an error went. I just want to do dot catch. Okay, that. And then return message dot channel send. Something went wrong. Cannot screenshot that URL. Okay. Now it's done. Let's try it out real quick. All right. Let me try to just do it first, like uh, with a uh, like anything like that. That's not actually a website. So I'm gonna say, say loading, and then something went wrong. Cannot screenshot that URL, as you can see. But now let me try with something that is actually real. Let's put Google.com. Right here, it's loading. Let's try another one, which is my website. I'll try xyt.com. Here, as you can see, it's basically in French because my API is hosted into a French server, so that's why it's in French. Anyways, here, let's try my website this time. Loading, loading, loading. As you can see, it takes quite like time, five seconds probably. He screenshots the entire website, entire page, as you can see. So that's my home page, as you can see. If I open it, look, that's how it looks like. See? So yeah. Uh, I guess that was it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below what you want the next video to be, that's it and ciao.